Well, this Florida State comes team comes in here ranked in the top 10 in 11 different categories nationally. With a 377 batting average is number two overall. Good take. Herrera, the junior from Puerto Rico. First pitch he sees to third base. They'll go to second to get the out, and the inning is over. With the fastball, but even with that velocity, still throws the fastball a fair amount. Three in a row there right is. there. A nice crowd tonight, feeling in at Condren Family Ballpark. That one is slapped past the third baseman, Cam Smith. It'll get all the way in the corner. And Heyman will end up at second base with his fifth double of the year. An Alabama transfer. First pitch he sees, lifts it in the air. Deep to right, it is caught at the wall by James Tibbs. To short again. Shelton, long throw, not in time. Boy, look at all the new names for Link Jarrett that he brought in. He hit the portal, I would say, about as hard as anybody did in the offseason. There's ball four. Here's the payoff. Off the plate, top of the second inning. Lifted in the air, out to center field. Jalen Guy. Makes the play. That should be good enough to get the run home as Dingus will score. Not only deep enough to score the run, but deep enough to advance everybody. Probably a situation where that throw should go to second base. Throw goes to second base. At least you keep Lodi standing at first. Oh, and that one is kicked by the second baseman, Cade Curland. And two runs will score on the two-out error. Eight pitch of this at bat. That's low, and he's walked him. Ground ball sharply hit, this time fielded by Curland. Well, he busted onto the scene at the College World Series, KP. Made the all-tournament team. And that's a base hit into left field. Armstrong gets his second strikeout of the game, and it ends the second inning. Ferrer can't hold up. Three pitches and a strikeout to start the third. That ball is... Barrel back up the middle and a base hit for Drew Ferro. That one is bobbled. And Ferro gets home safely to second base. Good hustle. Just a little bit more comfortable for all the infielders. Sharply hit. Pass Cags at first base. And that'll get the fourth run home of the game for the Florida State Seminoles. Swing and a miss down in the dirt. And that'll be out number three. Out of your freshman on the mound. I think it's, uh, I think more than anything else, uh, and Kyle, you'll know this, is they got to learn how to pitch with all three other pitches. And I think what's happened early on here, which we didn't see it quite a whole lot in the fall so far. All right, slowly, you got a good start here at the bottom of third. We'll let you get going. Now you yeah. got two on. Yeah, Thanks for joining us. Thanks, guys. Matter of fact, down at Miami. This one's lifted in the air out to center, but caught there by Ross. This year, he's already walked 11 times. He's walked five. So the, the selection has been better this year, and the power's still there. Ground wow. ball to second. See if the Seminoles can turn it, wow. and they do. Boy, the Gators get two on and nobody out. You get a one-pitch fly out from Caglione, and then Heyman into the 6-4-3 double play. You get three outs on two pitches after the first two guys reached. Probably a, a, a tough few days for the folks at D1 Baseball. Answering emails and text messages from a few folks. Belt higher, a little bit below that. That was it. Got it chopped right in front of the plate, safe at first base. So Cam Smith reaches on a seven-foot single. Lifted in the air, off the bat of James Tibbs. It is deep. And it's out of here. Tibbs goes yard for a team best eighth time. Left-handed hitters love playing at Florida State because it's short right porch, but it, it, it makes no difference where you're playing right here. Tibbs has got power to hit it out anywhere. And watch how sweet this is. There's a splitter that doesn't split. That's the one that starts a little bit higher. You could see the lack of spin when it gets on towards home plate. And Tibbs was sitting, waiting for it. They got a spot he could drive it out. Eighth home run of the year. He's a freshman All-American at UCF. And this one 
Slap past the shortstop, Colby Shelton. Boy, swing and a miss, and the inning is over, but the Seminoles add more. To right was a really nice play. Cam's, Cam's play at third was a beautiful slow roller play, and then you had the big double play. So that was great, and uh, we need to keep doing it. Obviously, <laughs> we need to limit stuff that just happened right here while we're talking. And there's the walk. Lifted in the air. Shallow right center. It's going to drop for a base hit. Lifted high in the air. Out to left field. Ferrer gives way to Ross, who will make the catch, and his throw will go to third, but that'll get the Gators' first run home. Mm. Called strike three. Now that was... He's off the fastball, off the plate. Pitch has been around for a while, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> this ball lifted in the air, deep to left. Out of here. Grand slam, Florida. Well, it was a little bit more patient that time. And for Kerlin, got the one he wanted. For the left-hander, I think for Kerlin, you're probably thinking you're going to see fastball change up. Instead, he saw two straight breaking balls. But watch where this one ends up. Belt high right down the middle. And Kate Kerlin, who we said is coming back from that hand injury, showed you last year the power that he has. Ground ball back up the middle. I got past the catcher, Jackson West. This one's lifted way up into the air and that'll get into the seats no caught delivers this high and deep off the wall and he'll stand up at second base and for Cantu a little bit low it's high school and he will lay down the bunt, and it is an exceptional bunt. There is no play to be made. With nobody out right here in the lineup, turn it over. Right back to the pitcher. They get the double play. This will stay on the ground of the shortstop, and the Gators get out of that mess. Shot. This one stays on the ground. Kind of a no man's land. Nice little scoop to Slater from Caglione, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Well done by Florida. I mean, Ferrer. Fielded by Thomas, and Cags can't scoop that one. And Ferrer will be safe at first. Dade's got another base runner. Yeah, they're going to score that a hit, KP. That ball is just mashed off the bat of Drew Ferreau. Into the corner it goes. Seminoles will hold up the runners. It'll be second and third. Seminoles have two more in scoring position. First pitch out to center off, off the bat. Of Dingus is a sacrifice fly, and the Seminoles will add another run to their total. They lead it by three now, eight to five. And they will intentionally walk Cantu. Barrels this one out into right center. Nobody's going to catch it. Off the fence it goes. Jalen Guy will pick it up, but a run scores. Here comes another run. A two RBI double for Alex Lodis. RBI's 15 and 16 and his third double of the year. At the approach of this Florida State offense, and Lodis in particular, he's walked twice, just missed extra bases down the right field line, but continues to use the right side of the field. Missed that one in the air. Out in the shallow right center. Caught there by Ty Evans. Stayed up in the zone and got him. Strike out. Slot. Strike out. At Condren Ballpark. So far, and Alabama just keeps on winning. Swing and a miss. And Rowan fired up. He gets a couple of strikeouts. 
And we got over 8,000 to watch a midweek game. Four straight pitches. Tibzo makes up for it with his eight home runs to lead the team. Throw down to second. And Williams in there with a stolen base. Good year somewhere else, but they didn't have a good year for you. So you don't really know what you have as Williams tries to steal third, and he does so. And that misses way off the mark. Gets all the way to the backstop, and that one is off the heel of Clemente, and that one scoots into the outfield. Had to be chased down. Lays the bunt down. Fielded there by Clemente. Safety right there just to add another one. And, and that's the biggest thing that you're going to fight when you're throwing a bunch of freshmen out there. It's just the inability to throw strikes, and it is it has hurt them tonight. Does that count? No, it doesn't. Okay. It doesn't count. <laughs> Slapped out the right field. That one is buried on top of the plate, so there's the walk. So now first and second with one out. That hit him. Boy, it buries that one. That's going to get a run home. Ty Evans steps on the plate. That hit about a foot and a half in front of the plate. So Jason Bradley says... Cade Curlin stuck his left arm out there, and he says that is a strike and rings him up. So remember, the rule right now is you don't have to move out of the way. But if you move to make contact with the ball and it hits you, it is a strike. So if there are two strikes and you do it, it's strike three. The batter being intentionally hit by the pitch is out. Confirmed. NC State at home at Pitt, who has looked better this year, and Georgia Tech at home. Lined out to center field, long run, and that one gets past Ross. It's going to scoot all the way to the wall. That'll get a run home. And Evans going to try to turn the corner. He's going home. The throw. Safe at the plate. Popped him up. He's going to stay in the infield. Rowe will make the catch. And after the inside the park home run, the Seminoles close it out. They win 12 to 8.